So can you talk about your opinion on each house guest? You guys want me go to go through every single house guest and tell uh tell you all my opinion? Let me know if you want me to go through every single person and tell you my opinion. Yes, yes. Okay. You're saying yes, please. Give me like two seconds. I will be back. I need some more water. I need to blow my nose and I'll be back. Give me one second. yeah on a side note it feels more like allergies like my eyes are swollen okay all right all right all right all right do you want to just like put the names of who you want me to talk about how i feel about them just just say a random name and i'll just i'll just tell you how i feel One word for each house guest. Okay. Let's start with... We'll just go in the order that each person was evicted. Um, so, Melina. Uh, one word for Melina. One word for Melina. Mm. Interesting. Um, Jay. <laughs> Jay. Um, eclectic. Or I should say a troublemaker. Jay was setting off Big Brother every other second. Okay? It was driving me crazy. Jay would say whatever they wanted to say and Big Brother would be like, Jay, Canada's watching. Jay, stop that. Jay, stop that. Jay, stop that. It was driving me nuts. Okay? It was driving me nuts. Stephanie, she's cool. She's a cool girl. Um, but I knew that she was potentially coming for me, so I didn't like that. After Stephanie was, um, Kyle. Uh, one word for Kyle. I just, I feel like my one word for a lot of people is just, like, they were cool. Kyle was another interesting one. Um, you know, there were times where I caught Kyle. I don't, I don't know if it was anxiety, but he would just, like, do these weird faces um i remember one time i was going to the washroom um at night and then kyle was just um playing pool on his own but he was kind of like just throwing the balls at the pool table all around the pool table and i was like i'm scared um so yeah kyle he he's actually very funny <laughs> kyle's word is mess kyle's actually very funny but also yes kyle is a mess um at least on the show um who is next after kyle kyle next is um tanisha tanisha my baby my road dog i love her she's my girl um yeah just tanisha home girl um and she's very kind. And she can cook, okay? If you ever get a chance to taste Tanisha's food, you will live a good life, okay? Um, after Tanisha, Jess, annoying. Jess was very annoying. I, I'm trying to be nice here, but yeah, Jess was very, 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 very annoying. Um, and they know that, though. Um... 
I'm just trying to go to, in the order of evictions. Who was evicted after Jess? Uh, <laughs> Jess. Um, see, this is what happens when you don't have to study these things anymore. Um, yes, Tanisha, wifey material. Um, who is next? Why am I messing this up? Let's just keep going. Marty problematic um explosive when he was in power um he was he's also a nice guy but yeah marty did get under my skin quite a bit um gino gino's very sweet he has a kind heart um i just wish that you know he would socialize with more people um he really only focused on his uh relationship with one person in the house which is why nobody fucking saved him it wasn't just the fact that he won uh two hohs it was the fact that he really there was no one else but jc lynn riding out for him and he should have never put me on the block because he knew that i was chocolate wifey okay um, <laughs> um who else who else who else who am i missing moose moosey he's a sweet guy but also annoying oh my god that boy would be singing every click of the clock of the day it drove me crazy we would have family clean up and he would just be like thank you canada Blah, 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 singing a song, and then the next song would end, and then, and then he would go to the next song, and was like, oh my god, him and Herman together, just annoying, annoying, oh my dear lord, baby, Jesus, but yes, I do think Moosey is a very sweet boy, but also annoying, but I'm also annoying as well, so let me just, let me just throw that out there, um, Josh. Josh is a sweet soul. I love Josh. But also, he is messy. He is a messy, okay? Oh. Don't even get me started on Josh. Um, I should say, I should say, um, sorry. I had a personal relationship with Larone. Larone, because that's what I call Joshua. I love Larone, but I hate Josh the game player, okay? Can't stand his ass. Betty? <laughs> Betty was funny as well. I love Betty. She was good energy. Um, I won't even lie to you. Some sometimes when she would chew on her tongue, it kind of just irked me a little bit. But that was just her thing. <laughs> but I, I didn't like the tongue chewing. I know it was just her her thing when she was um anxious. But uh, I was like, girl, do something else. I want to see something else. Bite your nails. Something else. Because I've never seen that before. Uh, <laughs> Um, and you know what? I won't even lie to you. In the jury house, because of her ass, I started chewing on my goddamn tongue when I was getting nervous. I'm like, you're a bad influence, Betty. You're a bad influence. Um, but yeah, I like Betty. The only thing I didn't like when I was watching the show is that she did not check Joshua enough for, um, you know, putting me on the block. If he's your if he's your best friend, you should have some sort of influence. Yeah, she did talk to him, but at the same time, it just seemed like she didn't really care like that. So I didn't really like that. It's like, how is this your number one? But you don't even you don't even have a, an influence. Tongue chewing queen. Yeah, she is a tongue chewing queen, baby. She is. <laughs> have y'all tried that? It's actually kind of relaxing. Um. Who else? Who else am I missing? Herman. Herman. He is um, another one who is a sweet soul. He's a kind guy, but also annoying AF. <laughs> All right? He was annoying. When there was more than five people in a room, mm, I hated Herman. I could not stand Herman for my, for my entire life. It was annoying. The the, 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 the baby voice when you'd be like, Hi, oh, I'm Herman! I would die a little inside. I can't even do the goddamn voice. 
So I would think to myself, boy, you, yo, you're damn near 30 and you're doing that motherfucking voice. What what the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that shit? Um, so yeah. Um, <laughs> who else? Who else? Who else? Who am I missing? Oh, Helena. Um, Helena was another one who I did think was like a nice person. Um, but once she did tea dirty, yeah, I know tea did pitch her. But like, girl, be a woman about it. Win H O H and then put her on the block. You don't have to tell her. I, Tanisha, if you're watching, when did when did when did Helena tell you that she wasn't gonna vote to keep you safe? You know, I swear she told. She, I swear she told Tanisha like five minutes before eviction like that's nasty and um like i understood helena's point but at the same time i'm like girl that's evil um who else jc lynn oh she told me 45 minutes before eviction yeah like who does that shit who does that shit and the thing that i don't get about helena um is that she wasn't really thinking about outside of the house and life outside of the house um a lot um because she was somebody that i really liked early on in the game but it's like girl you can't say all these things and then want to be, you know, buddy buddy afterwards. It doesn't really make any sense. I understand that it's a game, but how you go about playing the game is up to you. And it's unfortunate that um, you had relationships that um, formed solely based on talking shit about me or talking shit about other people. Like, what is that? That's not a real relationship. Um, so, yeah. And you know what? I'm going to just say this right now. Um, when I watched Helena's bio and when she said that growing up she wanted to be white, if I, ha if I had known that before um, being in alliance with her, I would have never been in alliance with her because I was like, oh, baby, this, this, is, this, this will not be good for me. <laughs> this will not be good for me. Yes, you know, I did have moments um growing up where i didn't always love my blackness but i never wanted to be white okay i never wanted to be white so if i had known that about her beforehand <laughs> i would have never been in alliance with her because then i would have known that she would not be loyal to the sisters at all i knew that she would be loyal to the people that maybe she might have identified with more um she told me she would always often tell me that she feels like she's in the middle because she's not um she's not black and she's not white um and she would say that maybe she feels closer to the people of color but no bb you you felt closer to the white people um not that that matters but it is what it is Ooh, it's kind of turning into a roast uh <laughs> it is turning to a bit of a roast um jc lynn um i don't really have too many thoughts on jc lynn either um she was okay um i had my reservations about um jc lynn early on in the game even when she um even when she asked me uh, when she pitched the honey bunch to us i kind of wanted to say no um that was another alliance that i wanted to say no to um it was just you know Something in me just said, like, you can't really trust this girl. Um, but again, I said, hey. Um, I said, hey, you know, um, this is my first time playing this game. And I don't want to say no. So I'm just going to say yes. Um... I did hear quite a bit um, leaving the show um, that, you know, Jason Lynn was upset um, with me and my relationship with Gino. Um, but she, I don't know if she checked Gino on it. Gino wasn't stopping me. Gino was, you know, 
flirted right back. Gina was asking for his morning hugs. You saw the videos on the live feeds. Let's be real. She should have checked her mind a lot more. And I'm going to say this. Gino being in the showmance. Actually, both of them being in the showmance was not good for their game. I know they thought it was, but it was not good for their game at all. Okay. Um, and, you know, sorry that Gino mentioned that he, he loves dark-skinned women with big booties. Okay? It's not my fault that I am have the darkest skin tone and have got a big booty, okay? And you know what? I'ma just put it out there, y'all hear some tea. Gino said that he was interested in talking to me, but I kept on saying that I did not want to be in a showmance or a flirt man, so he pursued, you know, elsewhere. Also, let me just throw it out there because I don't even care anymore. When we were going to the jury house, Gino asked me if I was still in a flirt man's. And I said, I don't know, Gino, are you still in a showman's? And he said, well, I'm free for the week. I wish the cameras were rolling. I wish the camera was rolling. Oh, there's, a, there's so much more tea that I wish I could say. I wish I could say, you know, you know. <laughs> oh there, there's a lot of things that has been said from Stavros's mouth that I will not say because I'm trying to respect his relationship but if they come for me I got the well I don't even have the receipts okay because I did not have my phone around me but there were some times where you know Gino made it seem like whatever he had going on with her was not that serious, which is why I did not take it seriously at all. Honestly, I think that I'm going to just throw it out there. I'm going to just go ahead and say it. I feel like a showman is just ratchet. Like <laughs> The only showman that I might respect is maybe Aika and Dimitri because that's serious. But like, I just feel like coming on Big Brother and like actually being involved like that is <laughs> just Oh, and I'm not even trying to hate. I'm not even trying to hate. I just feel like, who does that? Hmm? Gino made it seem like you were obsessed with him. No, baby, I was not obsessed with Gino. Did the cameras get, did the cameras get, you know, any of the footage of um, him playing handsies with me when we were in the shower every morning? You know, did, did the cameras catch that? Did it? Him him reaching for another hug from me. Him asking me why I'm not giving a hug to him. Even when I was on the block, he had JC Lynn making breakfast for me. They both loved me. They both wanted me. Okay? <laughs> there was like there was like a there was like a trio going on. But Oh, actually, let me even let me even spill even more tea for you. When we were in the jury house, you know what Miss JC Lynn said to her mom when she was drunk? How far can I go with Summer without you feeling a type of way? Okay? She wanted me so. Her hate from me was love for me, Okay? <laughs> Anytime JC Lynn got drunk, she was just like, nip, 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 all about me, baby. And Gino was living for it. When Gino was handcuffed to me, he was stroking my thighs. Let him not pretend what he really wants. All right. <laughs> nah, JC Lynn wanted you. Yeah, no, they both wanted me. And I said it. I goddamn said it. Yo, I don't want to spill too much because I don't want things to be spilled about me. <laughs> Not that I have much. Not that I have much. But. Oh, Miss Jason Graham has joined. <laughs> Hi, Jace. She's going to block you. <laughs> 